All right, hey everybody. Um, so, today is gonna be an episode of me playing Fortnite, the game I said I wasn't gonna play. So, um, we'll play some of this and it'll go terribly. So, let's do this, let's jump. Um, I have no idea where to go. I don't know how this game works. So, we'll figure it out. All right, so, to start, let's get into the Nacho update. Um, Nacho is mad at me today. All right, so uh, he's mad at me because I keep like not like staying home. So this morning I dropped my wife off at work, and I came home, and then I went back out. I got some food, came back home, and ooh, what's that? Look, at it, it's all shiny and stuff. Uh, came back home after food. Oh God. This is not going well for me. Okay, okay, I, oops, yep, okay, yep, yep, okay, yep. That's, that's why I don't play this game. That's not, that's it, that's out, that's why, that's why. You guys are gonna see me get really angry. Whew, uh, all right, so, came home after food. And then I went back out again for a job interview. And now I'm back, and now he's just, he's just mad at me. He's sleeping here on the couch next to me, but, uh, yeah, he's just, he thinks I just constantly leave him today, so he doesn't want to hang out. He's just sleeping on the couch because it's comfy, which is understandable because couches are comfy. But uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I feel like he just likes my wife more right now because uh, she doesn't keep leaving him. Um, he has gone potty a few times today, though, so uh, he's doing fine. He is a good boy for that, right, Doctor? He looks at me like he hates me. All right. So, what we're gonna talk about today is fantasy football. All right, but before we talk about fantasy football, I have to talk about something else real quick. All right, last night, all right, it was game one of the NBA Finals, and it was Cavs versus Warriors, as some of you may know, but um, J.R. Smith, a player for the Cavaliers, did something that was, how do you put, how, how would I put this? Dumb, all right. So uh, what J.R. Smith did was the Cavs were tied with the Warriors. They had time for a last second shot. They got an offensive rebound. And J.R. Smith was like, you know what? I'm gonna have to take this back to the three point line, see what I can figure out, even though there's like two seconds left on the clock not pass it to LeBron James, and then just wing it, man, you know what I mean? Like, just just really, just really not know how to play basketball. And, um, there's a photo going around of LeBron James's face when this happened, and the level of disgust and just anger on this man's... Is that person on my team? You stay over there. I... I don't like that. I don't like this. I don't know. Anyways, the level of disgust that was on LeBron James' face at J.R. Smith during that play, it was ridiculous. Like, LeBron James, who I'm not the biggest fan of, looked as disappointed as, like, a dad whose son just told just told him that he's gonna start selling custom scarves online. You know what I mean? Like, that's how mad LeBron James was at this dude. Oh my God, what is going on? Uh, close. I don't know you. I don't know you. The storm is starting soon. Is Should I go towards the line? See, I don't even know how, how this game works. They're all just like, oh, there's a storm, bye. Anyways, yeah, just like, again, just how angry LeBron James was at J.R. Smith. And I saw like a post-game conference of like people asking LeBron questions like, oh, what do you think J.R. Smith was thinking? He's like, dude, I don't know, man. I'm not J.R. Smith. There's a reason they call me LeBron James and not J.R. Smith. Right? Bruh, just eat it, bro. 
How, see, what? How? You can't see me. I'm dead. Nope, nope, nope. How do I, like, heal? Can I heal? Is that a thing? Can I get in this car? The cars drive. Is that a laser gun? What is this? I'm gonna get in this car. That's probably not even a thing. What? 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 See, I don't, I don't understand this game. Anyways, so yeah, uh, this dude looked at J.R. Smith in a way that looked like Thanos. If one of his minions tossed him an Infinity Stone instead of handing it to him, and the minion like missed the throw and the stone accidentally fell into the sun. Like that's how like rough it was to watch. Like I would never want someone that large and valuable to basketball or the world to be mad at me, right? And JR, like JR Smith is taller than me and he still looks like a child compared to LeBron James. You know what I'm saying? Like, so he has to deal with that. It's pointless to pick up, like, guns and stuff before the game, right? Like, because... Oh, a little submachine gun. How adorable. So I can just, like... Look at... Can I knock out that light? Nope. Because that would be too simple. Alright. I can I can figure this out. I know, I know how to play video games sometimes. But anyways, uh, let's talk about some fantasy football. Uh, what I'm going to do is I am going to just name off some players uh, who I think will be hot and who will not be so hot, in my opinion, right? Uh, I'm going to give you a little bit of facts, probably not a lot, but it is mostly going to be me making fun of football players who are obviously more talented than me. So, without further ado, uh, let's get into it. How do, does anyone ever go over here? Like, is over here nice? It looks okay. Look at, I see some boxes and some things. Look how fast the gliders go, Jesus. Okay, everything's fine. Search. Just take everything. Don't even hesitate. Just run away now. I will totally destroy someone. No, I won't. Okay. Um, so, first person I think is going to be very good in fantasy football this year is... My boy, Julio Jones. And by my boy, I mean, uh, he's someone who plays football and that I wanted to sound cool. Um, so, all right. So, let's look, let's, let's talk about Julio Jones. Uh, this dude is a monster. All right. Both literally and metaphorically. All right. Um, he's one, uh, he's a giant human being. He's like 6'3". And a giant for me is literally like anyone bigger than like 5'10". Uh, so he's just a big dude, right? Can I just take all these things? I'm just taking... It's like ceiling, but there's no uh, like repercussions. Wait, what? Did I... Nah, it doesn't matter. Um, can you akimbo stuff? Like, can you go like dual wield? Is that a thing? Ooh, what's this? Uncommon ranged what sure dude. Oh god. Why did it sound like someone's shooting at me? Don't it's not worth it It's probably I mean Let's go up there. Let's see what's going on. Um, so he's like 6'3 like 220, but he runs like a cheetah So you literally just outrun every human being on the field Why does it look so sad? Oh, what's that up there? It's probably something cool can you, is going up there allowed? Like, how, do, how does, I don't, oh god. Okay, that doesn't do damage. You can get armor in this game? Like, what is this? Like, what is happening? How do I double jump, like in Destiny? I will destroy anyone. No, I won't, let's face the facts. Don't, okay. Oh god, what's this line? Do I want to stay in the line or out of the line? Am I in it already? There's so many things. But it looks like the thing is closing in on me. So I should stay 
in the lines. Eh, it doesn't matter. All right, so uh, it runs like a cheetah, and he's able to make catches that are as crazy as like people who are excited to drive in big cities, like 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 I've seen him make like he made a catch in the Super Bowl a couple years ago that the only way to make it look not as crazy was for Julian Edelman to catch it like centimeters from the ground. Right? Uh, look, at the, look at this. Just Whoa, what? No, dude, I need that. What? No, I need the bit. How did... What? Let's get rid of this stupid gun. Because I don't know anything. Um, but yeah, so, like... But yeah, like, think of the the level of craziness that he's able to make catches is uh, akin to him, like, or to, like, white people saying, like, oh my god, I can't wait to, like, seek Toby Keith in Orlando, and I just can't wait to be stuck in traffic on the way to go see Toby Keith. It's gonna be crazy, like... Like, who doesn't love watching, uh, you know, car accidents happen at three miles per hour like they do in Orlando? And, and see, people who think that are crazy, and that's the level of catches that Julio Jones makes on, on like, a daily basis. Uh, but back to Julio. Like, in all seriousness, um, he's going to do amazing this year. He's probably going to score closer to 10 touchdowns than three. I really think uh, him, like his red zone targets, in the red zone, when you're close to the end zone, I really think those targets were just like, though he only got 19 of them or whatever, and he only converted on like five red zone targets. I saw I saw one target from uh, old Matty Ice there. And it was an interception because it was possibly the worst end zone throw I've ever seen in my life. Like, it was a gift of an interception. He was like, yeah, man, take it, spot, it's cool. Don't even worry about it. So that's not really Julio Jones' fault. I really just, I, I think he's going to be fine. I feel like I should go shotgun because I am not good at what is known as aiming in this game. All right, let's get... Sneak attack in here. Oh my god, this is terrifying. I'm gonna close this door. It's gonna happen. Uh, so yeah, he's gonna have like 1,400 yards or whatever. And oh my god, someone's here. Oh my god, someone else is here. Oh my god, someone else is here. I can just tell because I'm terrified. Is this thing making noise in me? Cause I don't like this. Am I the last person on my team left? Also... Get wrecked, nerd! Oh, stop, stop moving. Oh my Jesus. Oh my good God. Alright, how do you... Yeah, let's heal up, bro. Oh my God, someone's gonna attack me. Uh, I'm so scared. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Oh my god. Okay, look at me. Haha. -ha. Do they have any like band-aids or uh, wood? Nope, 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 nope. Don't do it. Someone's here. I can tell. Because I'm scared. Is that a jetpack? Ooh, fancy. Alright, so a uh, player who I think is not gonna be good in fantasy football this year. That is um, Frank Gore. Oh my god, what's happening? Uh, so Frank Gore. Um, plays for the Dolphins now. Which is always a good sign when someone plays for the Dolphins. Um, even though they haven't been good in like 16 years. Actually, it might be more than that. I don't know. They're just not good. Alright. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Why is the Eye of the Storm shrinking? Like, what does that even mean? I'm going to take one of these candies. Uh, let this be a lesson to you kids. If you find something shiny and glowing on the ground, you should consume it. Yeah, don't do that. 
Anyways, Frank Gore is uh, like gonna play football for Miami this year. And uh, don't get me wrong, Frank Gore is probably gonna be in the Hall of Fame at one point in his life. Like, he's just, he was just really good at football, but he's getting super old. And he recently like said that, um, like he's excited to be playing in Miami because it's not turf, it's grass. Because when he played on turf, it made it, it hurt. It hurt his body, which um, I'm not buying into because, like, uh, Frank Gore is like 50 in football years. Um, so no offense, you're gonna hurt regardless, man. It's gonna happen. Like, don't tell me. Oh no, I'm good, cause uh, you know the whole like not landing. Like he could he could run down the sideline untouched, and like just untouched. And then when he oh god, what is no? Don't why why why? Oh god, they're over there. Do I have grenades? I do. Did I get that guy? Did that count? Did I do well? I placed 12th. I don't know what that means. To be honest. Should I just return to the lobby? I'm just gonna return to the lobby, it's fine. Um Yeah, he could land in a like when he gets to the end zone, he could land in a pile of pillows and he would still hurt the next day. Uh and just like to put hope into people just because you're playing on grass is like someone being excited um, about McDonald's just because it's a new hip McDonald's instead of like the old gross one. Like either way, you're still gonna be like for a long period of time, you're gonna be in the bathroom scrolling through your favorite social media, like no matter what doesn't matter if it's a new McDonald's. It's still gross McDonald's. All right? So don't don't hype people up, Frank Gore. Not cool, bro. Uh, I think this is going to be the last person that I'm going to talk about here is Jarek McKinnon. Uh, he's running back for the 49ers. All right. He came from Minnesota, signed as a free agent for the 49ers. Look, I understand that the coach for 49ers uh, says that Jarek McKinnon can is, is a do-it-all back and uh, can do anything you ask him. But let's be honest, okay? That dude, Drake McKinnon, played in Minnesota for years and was able to uh, was unable to lock down the starting spot. Ever. Never, ever. Couldn't do it, all right? Like, Adrian Peterson went down with an injury and Jarek McKinnon couldn't beat out Matt Asiata for the starting running back role. Matt Asiata. I don't even think that dude's in football right now. All right. And then, and then what happens? So the next year they let go of Adrian Peterson, and like Jarek McKinnon is the only running back left on the roster. And what does Minnesota do? They go out and sign. Latavius Murray, who's a good running back. Don't get me wrong. It went to UCF. That's my boy. All right, let's not go the same place as that person. Uh, let's um, let's find some kind of structure. What is what is going on down here? I like that little outhouse. It's like the place on the side of the road where people stop and go poop poop. Let's do it. What's happening? I don't know. Just land. Just land. All right. I will take all of those things. All right. Um, but yeah, so uh, he's the. They go out and get Latavius Murray, like I said, and then they also draft Delvin Cook. All right, Delvin Cook as a rookie immediately takes control of that backfield and is doing very well for the first five or six games. I can't remember how long it was before he got injured. Right? He gets injured out for the season. The person that takes over the role is Latavius Murray, who said 
like he said this himself, that he did not know the playbook very well. That's what he said. And he still beat out Jarek McKinnon for the starting running back role. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, son. Like, I understand the coach of the 49ers needed a new running back. He lost Carlos Hyde, who was pretty okay last year. But, like, that doesn't mean that, like, you, like right when you look at Jarek McKinnon, you turn into, like, like, one of those white women who, like, is in their mid-twenties when they start dating. Or, not that they start dating, but they're looking for a boyfriend and they find, like, a bad boy. Like, he's not very good at anything. Kind of kind of not doing well on his, like, can't get on his feet. And they just look at him, they're like, I think I can change him. It isn't him. He just, he just has to be in the right place. Uh, bro. Seriously. You, like, he isn't going to change and be, like, a Hall of Fame running back just because you give him a bunch of money. That's not how it works. Like, to, like, it just it's just not how it goes, man. So that's all. That's all, that's those are the only players I'm really gonna cover. Uh, I'm gonna play this last game. We'll see how it goes. I have no idea where I am, at all. Zero percent. There's supposedly like a storm coming in. I don't know how to play this game. Can like how do I? I don't wanna like walk that way. That's ridiculous. Ooh, look at a water tower. Is there a water tower? I don't know. But yeah, so we'll just keep playing this and just, ugh, I don't want to, I don't want to talk about Jurek McKinnon anymore. He hasn't done well, like, at all. Just dumb. I hate it. What's up there? Can I even get up there? Nope. Can how do, how do, how do you, how, can, how, I don't. Can you, like, if you... No, what? Dude, what are you doing? Ugh. Just, I, just, I didn't even want it. I didn't even want whatever was up there. You know, look cool. It's... Hello? Think someone's over there? Like, I'm sure there are, like, instructions and guides to this game, but... I don't think they actually exist. Right, let's, hey, hey, ooh, rocket ammo, because I have rockets. Oh god, I just, have you ever just felt like someone was shooting at you already before they, oh my god, I was right. Where did he go? Oh my god. This is going terribly. He's near me, isn't he? Like, I, guess I just can't see him because he's invisible. Like, he has some superpowers on him. So unfair. Ah! Don't. Just don't, guy. Guy. Guy? Guy. Don't. What is that? It does look like humans made it. Actually, it probably does. It just looks like a dumb treehouse. And by a dumb treehouse, I mean a really cool treehouse that I wish I could live in, but I probably can't afford the rent. All right. He's following me. I just know it. Run! Should I go into this weird treehouse looking thing? You know what? Yellow. Ooh, that's flammable. Cool. Does that mean that is not... Like, oh look it, cool. Ooh, a revolver. The Beatles had a had a uh, had an album called Revolver. I can just shoot that thing. Ooh, what's that down there? Those look like cool things. Tactical shotgun. Oh, that oh, doesn't matter. I really feel... Yep, that happened. Where do I... What? 
I'm sure there's like, yeah, I feel like someone made this. Oh, look at, oh, someone already raided that chest. Oh, God. Oh, God, no. Guy. Bruh. Are you... Really? I hope that person that just sneaks up... Don't be like that guy. You don't know me. Of course. He has perfect aim. I don't. That makes sense. Whatever. You know what? I hate this game. Thanks for watching. If you did, I'll just keep... Whatever. I don't, I don't, I don't, even, I don't even care. I don't even care. Okay, bye.